So I'm at Herco in High Wycombe. I'm with John Farthing. Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, one of the most popular selling five-axis machines. John, why is this VMX so popular mm. in your opinion? Yeah, Paul, it, it is very, very popular. We sell several five-axis machines. This is by far one of the most popular. I say by, by far, certainly the style of the machine, which it is, the, the axis movement which you get makes it a very versatile machine. So as a standard three-axis machine, you're getting 1066 by 610 by 610 as a travel. And then the swivel B-axis then brings in the five-axis, which gives you 610 diameter by about 410 high. So it's fair to say it's a very good transition machine, isn't it? For someone that maybe doesn't want to go straight into five axis, they can, they can almost have that journey from one to the other here. They can do. So if their particular work is larger, larger work than what maybe a five axis smaller training machine would be able to take, this gives them that opportunity really. So if they have got different work coming through the shop, it's not necessarily prone to five axis all of the time. Uh, what about the options available with it? I see we've got an integrated C-axis table here, but is there another configuration? There is. Our SW range is also available. This comes with the B-axis only, and then you can put bolt on a trunnion table to give you uh, a, a fourth axis or five axis uh, travel as well. And what about options with the machine? Is there an opportunity to expand on the amount of tools I've got? Uh, okay, so yes, cord? there's an option to expand on, on, on the amount of tools. Fort is a standard tool, uh, ATC. The machine itself comes in three sizes, so we've got the VMX42 here, um, we've got the VMX60 SRTI, which is the next one up, and then we've got the 84 SRTI, all in the same configuration, just giving you bigger, bigger travel. Um, what's, what's my indexing opportunities with the head as well, and it, does it do full simultaneous five axis? Yes, okay, so movement-wise, you're getting um, 184 degrees movement on the B axis, so you can potentially come past your zero and, and undercut. What about the performance on the milling head? Yes, it's an it's, it's, um, inline motor, 12,000 RPM as standard. Um, we can offer 18,000 HSK 63 as well. The rotary option is 184 degrees of, of movement, so you can um, undercut on, on work if, if I need be. It's full simultaneous and positional. And again, on the control, this is again a popular thing, the control can program positional five axis parts very easily, just as much as that you can download complex uh, 3D surfacing work. 